this demonstration run, we're going to make five different stamps, four address stamps, and one large picture stamp. We start with a typesetting program. We're using Corel Draw, but any program such as PageMaker, Illustrator, or even Microsoft Word will work. Use our Fast Light Frame CD for the 20 Fast Light stamp sizes. Typeset inside of the dotted line. The solid outside line will be used to line up the foam to the copy. Make sure to delete the inside dotted line, or it will be transferred onto your stamp. Place a sheet of vellum into your laser printer and send the copy. Cover the vellum with a clear plastic film in order to keep it clean. You can either staple the clear plastic film to the vellum or you can use scotch tape. You can cut out the stamps from the vellum individually if this is easier for you, but you should cover it with a clear plastic film. Place the vellum onto the glass table. Keep the stamp copies well inside the glass area. Then, place the foam over the vellum with the shiny foam side face down. You should be able to see the outside frame border. The image is about to be transferred by special light to the foam. Place the fast light platform over the stamp copy. This is very important for best results. Set the density to 10 and turn the machine to non-PPC mode. Then wait until the OK light starts blinking. Close the padded lid and swing over the handle. Press downward onto the handle until you see the flash. The number of flashes depends on the number of stamps, but it's usually one flash for one to two stamps, two flashes for two to four stamps, and three flashes for more. Open the machine and remove the cover plate. Carefully peel off the foam from the vellum and place the stamp side facing up. Use the vellum only once per stamp run. Now let's prepare your work area. Have your foam, ink cartridge, and fast light mount ready for assembly. The stamp assembly takes less than one minute per stamp. Remove the dust cover and clip and place the stamp face up. Take the plastic bag with the ink cartridge and cut it open on one end. Remove the ink cartridge with tweezers and place directly into the fast light mount. Handle the processed foam by picking it up by the edges. Do not use tweezers. Place the processed foam directly on top of the ink cartridge and drop in the retainer ring. Put on the dust cover, turn the mount upside down, and press down evenly with moderate pressure until you hear it snap together. Then, remove the dust cover and press down a couple of times with the stamp. This step is necessary to remove any air bubbles that may have formed between the ink pad and the stamp foam. Now cap the stamp and place it aside. When the stamp is ready to produce an image, take one of the perforated labels and press an image directly onto it. Then, break out the perforated finished label. Drop the label into the indentation in the stamp crown. And then snap on the clear plastic lens. That's it. Your stamp is done and ready for sale or shipment. Our 3x4 picture stamp is ready. Let's see how it performs. There it is. Instant Andy Warhol. To re-ink, 
remove the cap from the top of the stamp. Put in an even amount of drops into each of the ink ports. For this very large stamp, we're using four drops. Usually just one or two per port is sufficient. Then, recap the stamp.